What the UAW tonight just signaled a short time ago as the big three automakers brace for a possible strike. The strike deadline a little more than 24 hours away now. So what we've learned tonight from Terry Moran in Detroit. Tonight, the clock is ticking down to a deadline of midnight tomorrow for a threatened strike by nearly 150,000 auto workers. Who are we? For rank and file members, a moment of truth. How do you feel at this moment, the deadline just a few hours away, really? Um, anxious, hopeful. If no deal is reached, it would mark the first time in history that union workers walk out on all of the big three American automakers. The UAW wants a 40% wage increase over the next four years, arguing that's how much the CEOs have gotten since the last contract. I don't mind them making all that money. That's great. But don't take away from me to pad your own pocket. Other union demands a return to pension plans, which were eliminated for new hires during the financial crisis, plus retiree health care and a four-day work week, a demand Ford CEO says is unrealistic. We'll see. I mean, a four-day work week is not containable. As for worries that a major auto strike could hurt the U.S. economy, UAW President Sean Fain had this to say just moments ago. It's not the economy that'll wreck. It's their economy. It's the billionaire economy. That's what they're worried about. At this hour, the talks continue. Both sides saying progress has been made, but they remain far apart. And UAW President Fain telling his members tonight to win, we are likely going to have to take action. David? All right, Terry Moran watching just outside Detroit tonight. Terry, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.